Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a St. Patrick's Day video for you. A little different from the ones I've done in the past. I've done the bold, bold green. I've done a subtle green. I've done a rainbow. So this year I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And I figured the only thing that I hadn't quite done other than a pot of gold on my face is to do the Irish flag. So that was kind of the inspiration for this look. I know other people have done similar looks with these colors, but this was my take on it. And I really, really like it. When I was playing around with this look initially, I had a few different variations for the white and couldn't quite settle on anything, so it ended up just being an inner corner highlight. But I do like the way that it's turned out. So this is the look, and if you want to learn how to do it, just keep on watching. All the products will be listed down below so that you guys can reference them. Just to start off with some shape tape on my lid, this is in Fair Neutral. It's actually not my shade. Um, it's like too light, which always perplexes me that I'm actually not the lightest shade in foundation and concealer anymore. I remember a time when the lightest was still too dark for me. I'm going to blend that over my lids and I'm going to be doing my eyes first because the shadows that I'm using do have some fallout. I'm just going to put a little bit of this underneath my lash line as well. You can see it's like ghostly. So I broke my desk mirror. Um, a couple months ago, and uh, it's it's a pain. So I apologize if I end up looking in the um, the viewfinder, or if I pick this up and block you guys so that I can actually see what I'm doing. So all the shadows I'm gonna be using today, or like 99.9% .9 of them, are from Morphe. Um, I will name them uh, below or in the caption because in the pan they, I can't get to the names, and the other one's just the palette. So I'm gonna just start in with this shade right here. And I'm just going to put this into the crease as a transition shade just to make sure that the other colors go on smoothly. So this looks a little bit different for me this year. I'm going to go in with this green shade. Now it does seem a lot brighter on camera so I'm just going to start buffering that color into the inner crease. I'm not going to take it out super far. I'm just going to change my brush. I'm going to change it to a flat shader brush. So I'm just going to pack this color on. This color does have some fallout, which is why I haven't done my foundation or anything yet. Wiggle that into my crease. Then I'm going to stop just shy. I'm not going to fade it out or anything. I'm just going to stop. Just kind of round that out. And really make sure to pack it into your uh, lash line. Excellent. Now I'm going in with a darker green shade right here. And I'm just going to be taking this pointed pencil brush and I'm going to be pressing that color into the outer corner of my lid and my crease. And again, I'm keeping it round. I'm not blowing it out. I'm pressing it in and bringing it upwards. And I'm not going to be passing the halfway point of my eye. I'm sticking to the outer third. And I'm not pushing too much above my crease into my brow bone area. I want to try and keep that more bare and so there's a little bit more of my skin coming through than it being a full blown out look. Because I know especially with like a darker green it can be a little intimidating for people. Then I'm going to take that first brush again, not adding any more product, and I'm just going to blend through. There you go. And it'll bring a little bit of the color up but it'll diffuse it more than anything here. This is the 35O palette. Take a little bit of that and place that into onto my brow bone area and just lightly dusting it. Add a little bit of warmth to my brow bone so I don't look too pale and dark. Okay, so now for underneath of the eye, we're going to do some fun um, orange. So originally I was using my um, individual shade this individual shade here. But then I remembered that my 35O palette would have some amazing shades. So I was really toying between which ones I wanted. So I'm actually gonna start with this shade right here. And I'm going to just run that on my bottom lash line. And then I'm probably gonna blend it out a little bit with this lighter shade. Love it. So again, taking that lighter shade and softly blending it out. And then to add a little glitz to it, um, I have this one loose shade. It's kind of like a copper shimmer. So gorgeous. 
right here. It literally looks like a penny. And I'm gonna lay it down. And obviously you can add as little or as much as you want to make it glitzy. There we go. So my biggest struggle was how to incorporate the white. I did a white liner, I did a white cut crease, I put just some liner inner crease, and I wasn't really sold on any of it. I was kind of, I liked the white liner, but then it looked a bit stark. So I'm going to just put a little bit of white on my inner corner. So I'm just going to add some white to my inner corner using the NYX um, eyeliner pencil. I'm gonna pull a little bit more out, less actually in the waterline, more of an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna hop off camera, I'm gonna catch this eye up, and I'll be right back. So I went over it with the lightest shade in this palette, which is not quite a white, but it worked pretty well. Um, but I am gonna go over it with my Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean highlight in Fortune, this one right here. Now that the eyes are done, I'm going to hop off camera, do some mascara, and I'm going to get my base on, and then we'll finish my face up together. So on my, my eyes for mascara, I have the new Marc Jacobs uh, Velvet Noir Mascara. I do also have the primer. I got them from Influencer. For my face, I have the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation in 103 True Ivory. And I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed powder. Now let's put a little bit of color back in my face. I'm going to go with Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder and this is in number one light. It still doesn't seem very light. Yeah, a little bit to my temples. Just a bit. And just a touch under the jawline. For blush, I'm using Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic, or Cheek to Chic, and this is the Love is the Drug. It looks like swirling through both colors. And as always, I like to concentrate the blush on the back part of my cheek versus the apples of my cheeks, just because I have a very round face, and I feel like this is already round enough. It doesn't need too much more tension. And then for highlight, I'm going to go in with the same one we have on our inner corner, which is Fortune from the Lorac palette for Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. It's so pretty. I'm going to put a little bit on my lip, a little bit on the tip of my nose, and whatever's left kind of down the bridge of my nose. There we go. Now to finish the lip off, we need something on the lips. So as you can see, I've just lightly lined my lips with NYX Natural Lip Pencil. I want to keep my lips very nude, so I'm going in with Tarte's. This is uh, Beach Babe. You can totally stop there. It is more of a softer matte look, but I'm going to go in with some gloss. This is the Big Bold NYC Plumping Lip Gloss, and this is in Big City Blush. And that's this look. It's super simple, super easy. I would love to see what your St. Patrick's Day makeup looks like, no matter what you end up doing it. So please hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, any social media, find me and send it to me. So I would love to see what you guys have created. And I hope you guys have a safe, happy St. Patrick's Day. See ya!